on everybody, Gaming Magic 13 here, and welcome back to some more new Super Mario Brothers. We were in yesterday's episode. We took on the cl the second half of the Cloud World, and today's two episodes. I wonder why we're releasing two episodes today, huh? Well, because I want to get both worlds eight and nine. Yes, there's a world nine. Pretty sure you all know that by now. Done this week, and since Curious George finished up yesterday, what I want to do is put two episodes covering both halves of World 8 up today, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and do the same thing tomorrow with World 9, so that by the end of the week, all my both current walkthroughs will be done, finished up, and, we can move, and I can move on to the next big project. So, let's get started with World 8. This is Bowser's Domain. No more pretty flowers, no more beautiful landscapes of rocks or clouds or jungles or snow or beautiful beautiful beaches no more instead we have flowing lava streams extremely dangerous enemies and unforgiving circumstances and magic cooper magic cooper is also here too so let's dive right into world 8-1 which is in my opinion one of the most rigorous levels we're going to see it's funny how the first level is what I think is considered to be the most rigorous level, but hey, what you gonna do, I suppose. Of course, this is only because there's a, you know, massive black mist behind me that's going to conquer everything if we don't move. So that could have something to do with it, but hey, what you gonna do? The first star coin is relatively easy to get, but that doesn't mean numbers 2 and 3 are as well. Another thing that's also really cool to see, for the Wii especially, just look at the details on that, is that... There's asteroids falling from the sky. Or oh, oh, Two things that make this level extra unbearable is not only the big black cloud that's hovering over us from the sky behind us that will consume us and is essentially the indie bowler to this level, but there's asteroids falling from the sky. Great, great as they look, especially for the Wii, they're still incredibly annoying and can will cause certain death if you're not careful about it. Especially during bursts that the volcano unleashes like that. They still- they do look cool. They're just, you know, very annoying. Which I've said many times. And there's that black cloud that's gonna loom over us. Now, let me- I should probably explain the, that cloud's mechanic a little bit more in depth. But, basically, it's just a big cloud looming over us. If it touches you, you're dead. So if it catches up to you, you're dead. Which means that you- basically want to keep moving, which is presented as a challenge when it, when the, um, when the asteroids keep fall, flowing in, when there's little lava, mini, vol, mini lava, volcan not really volcanoes, but lava bursts that will halt your progress. To get the second star coin, though, you want to pick up the pal lock and throw it down here to collect the second star coin, while you still have something to stand on right there. Here you're going to get hold up, held up a little bit unless you are very lucky with the lava timing. But as you can see, the cloud's coming in hot, so we want to move fast to avoid that. Which isn't easy in this section, because once again, unless you're incredibly lucky, the lava more than likely will hold you up. And if not the, if not the lava, then the asteroids. Two things that you can, and you cannot afford to be held up in this level, because as I've said many times, the cloud will get you. Now what you want to do here is you want to get a running start. Oh, shoot. Wait for an asteroid to break this little chamber right there, so you can dash in there, or you can break it yourself if you're anything above level 1 Mario. And that makes the process of getting that third and final star coin very simple. I feel like that 1-up should have been mine, but no matter. Mario time. Now, I actually thoroughly enjoy this next bit. This next level is actually kind of one of my favorites. Of the world, that is. But it's still a little bit of a challenge. But then again, I like a challenge. That doesn't mean I like World 7 Dash Tower as a challenge, but I still do like a challenge. And the thing about this level is that it takes place entirely underground, which means there's no more asteroids falling from the sky. Which gets rid of that element of... Wait, is there something above this? I forget. No, there is not. 
gets rid of that danger element. But there are still a few danger elements to worry about. Although Paragoombas aren't all that... I was about to say about how Paragoombas aren't all that big of a deal, and then I got hit by them. Spikes are a big deal. Spikes are rolling across these wheels, and they can be a big deal sometimes. Big Goomba's not that big a deal. Spikes, big deal. Now, there's that first star coin, but I would recommend waiting until that big one passes so that it can't can't interfere with you getting the fire flower that's in that um, little box, in the, in the item box right there. Flooded my words a little bit. Anyway, the next star coin, actually, let's get the red ring riches before we worry about the next star coin. Now, this level actually has a secret exit, and obviously since we're in the last official world, there there's no cannon that the secret exit can lead to. But it does lead, similar to what it did in World 7, to a new level. Or a, not a secret level, but a, a different level that can't be accessed normally. Anyway, star coin number two is located right there. I recommend waiting until the, you find a gap in the Goomba passing so that you don't have that big of a problem getting it. There's a nice flower up there, which could actually be very beneficial in future levels when you have to deal with the, the constant stream of fire. Something that, But the secret exit is actually right down here, and along with that is the third star coin. Secret exit's down here. We're gonna get that first. The third star coin's all the way at the end of the level, but... <clears throat> in the upper roof, so I'm just gonna sit here and harvest all the... Oh, wait. Was that all the coins? Oh, right, because it just makes everything fall that's on screen, but... Oh, there aren't still coins? Oh, right, because we're at the end. Never mind. So those are all the coins you could collect. But we're not gonna get the third star coin now since the secret exit's right here, and it's easy to get through the level again. The secret, the secret exit will lead you to my second favorite level in the in the lava world, which is a roller coaster level. But we're not going to do that yet because it's 8-7. I know you're going to say, I know the comments will be like, oh, but you did 7-6 because I hate that level. So I got it over with as soon as the episode started. But there's 8-7 right there. We're not going to go to that just yet. We're going to play through the level again to get the third, the sec get the third star coin and the standard exit. Moving past the entrance to the secret exit, it's pretty easy to get the third star coin. It's just right in here. However, you wouldn't think you, you, your instinct is to jump up here immediately because there's also a giant spike that comes out of where the third star coin is, and it's going to roll right back in there. So you, I would, and yet the spike hits an imaginary wall that we can. Oh right, because it can't fit through there. Ah. At least Nintendo provided some explanation as to why the spike can't keep rolling through the third star coin. <sighs> and now, we get to do probably one of my least favorite levels in the entirety of World 8. Also, I love that little animation where Mario takes his cap off, does the motion to take his cap off, but there's nothing to take off, so I always love that. Now, I hate World 8-3. Hate it. Because of one thing. Lava... Tidal waves. Or not really tidal waves, but just... Constant stream of lava flowing through at periodic bursts make this level a nightmare to do. Lean down here to get the first star coin because these things dip down into lava. That's an easy one to get. What's not an easy star coin to get, you may ask? Well, give it time, and once we hit the location of the second star coin, it'll become very evident very soon, there goes our ice flower, that it's not... Wait, did I miss something? Nope, didn't miss anything. The second star coin's just over this hill, down the hill, over another hill that we can't pass through until this lava decides to just pass through. There's star coin number two. So we have to dip past the lava, get it, and then run straight back out again. But that's not even the most annoying star coin to get, because even then, as long as you have good timing, it's still a relatively easy star coin to get. It's not a super easy star coin to get, but it is relatively easy. Ooh, 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 uh, there goes my ice flower. But what is an annoying star coin to get? Oh shoot, go away. Nope. Nope! <sighs> and there's Mario's little cap. 
That's the thing. Once you see Mario without his cap, it's hard to go back. Like, you know, once you see Mario with, you know, when you see Mario's cap on, you you know, it's, it's such a normal thing, you don't think twice about it. Ugh. Once you see Mario without his cap, it's hard to go back to seeing him with his cap. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, it's like you listen to an acapella band cover a song, and then they, and then you go back and try to listen to the old song. You can't do it. Can't do it. Also the same thing with remastered games. You're, you're so used to the old graphics, you think they look pretty good. Then the game gets remastered and you think, wow. It's hard for you, you can't go back. That's, that happens with a lot of things like that. But anyway, I am going to try, uh, there goes my super mushroom. Try my darndest to get as many coins as possible so I can get back up to 99 lives before we hit the final boss fight, which shouldn't be too insanely hard to do. Considering that there's coins littered absolutely everywhere, but there's star coin number three. By the way, okay, you know what? you you need to die. You're you're gonna annoy me. You wanna wait until the lava passes through in that little gap and then slide down the ramp and jump up to get star coin number three, and then from there, it's just a long flow of avoiding the river flow, the river bumps, and then lava bumps. I'm in to say, hop over and into the pipe. And actually, that level wasn't as bad as I remember it being. And I seem to be saying that a lot with a lot of games. Oh, no one up. Now, a long steady gap all the way over. Um, we gotta fight these first. Good thing we got those mushrooms. I know I said this doesn't lead to anything interesting, but I'm gonna go through anyway because it does lead to a lucky block, and I'm gonna try and get. Ah, I was trying to hit it on the fourth one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, but I was one too early. But either way, at least we have one extra layer of buffer. Okay. Got it. Jump up here, see what we can get. Nothing. Maybe there will be fire flower in that other lucky block, or not lucky block, item block over here. Nope, nothing interesting. Alright, so as you can see, the gimmick of this level, not really a gimmick, you might say, but it's... The concept is that there's these moving brown blocks that you have to consistently jump from one to the next. Um, so that's the main gimmick, but the thing is that if you if you jump in between two of them, you'll get crushed. Didn't mean to bump the microphone there. You'll get crushed and die. Is the where's the hmm? Like for example, if you jump anywhere in this section other than where the coins are. You're gonna get crushed. I would demonstrate, but I don't really want to. So right, right here, right here, we're safe. Where the coins are, we're safe. Where the coins aren't, we're gonna die. So I recommend sticking to where the coins are unless you think you can make it. Like right here. I should have probably stayed in that first one, but I was lucky enough to be able to make it into the second set of coins. Now the second star coin is right here. Jump into this little mini sec or secret area right here. And it'll take you to the room with the second star coin. And as you saw, the third star coin is directly above this. But you can't get to the second star coin after that because it's past the non the point of no return orange barrier. Why did I never call it a point of no return before? Probably should have jumped on that. Anyway, for here, if you're uh, and if you're a level one Mario, it's pretty easy. But if you're not, you can just get a running start and then press the down arrow on the D-pad to slide under and grab the third star coin. Pretty easy to get, but uh, I believe we're coming up to the boss door right there. Let's grab this fire flower. And as you saw, we're fighting Magic Koopa. Yep. I just said that. It's definitely not my preferred boss fight. Because this time, Magic Koopa doesn't have to help a different Koopaling out with her magic. She's helping herself with her magic. 
And these are all continuously moving. The gimmick is that Magic Koopa is consistently teleporting around, but you have to catch her before she moves. However, something good about her this boss fight is that, unlike the Koopalings, once you hit her, you don't have to worry about her doing the, the stupid little Koopaling shell, the, the Koopa shell move thing, the Koopa spin shell thing. Where's she gonna pop up? Up here, up here, up here, grab it! Oh shoot, get her, get her, get her! Yes, that's three times and she's down. Oh my god, Toad, why must you ins why must you consistently insist on being worthless? Funny, you know you know your friends Yellow Toad and Blue Toad? They're helpful. They actually got the option to help save Princess Peach. But you? Nope. You are worth get out of it my way, these freaking papers. You are worthless. You just get yourself trapped in blocks all the time. <sighs> but anyway. That is gonna do it for today's episode of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Uh, next time we will be taking on the second half of the Lava World. So I would like to thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to stay updated for all content previous, current, and upcoming. But other than that, until next time, I've been in Gaming Magic 13 signing off saying, I hope you have a phantasmago phantasmagorical day. It's my new thing now. If you don't know, phantasmagorical is a complicated way of saying fantastic. And I will catch you all tomorrow for some more. New Super Mario Bros. Week. So, goodbye!